Hey Capricorn, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. I hope you all are doing amazing. Let's do a love reading to close the week out. I don't even know if I posted for you all this week at all, but let's um end the week with a love reading, okay? This is your person's current feelings. Understand some of these cards will talk about someone new. Maybe you have not met them yet, but this will be maybe what this person is going through in their life and or what's going to happen when you two to meet. We have, we prioritize quality time to nurture our connection and strengthen our bond. Starting off on a good note. So this is someone who will make you a priority. Could be another Capricorn. Very disciplined person, a team player, very mature. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? You could be enjoying your time with someone, spending quality time with them, even though you two have busy schedules. We have lessons. There are still lessons I have to learn before I can be ready to be with you. It's in reverse. I feel like they've already learned their lessons, which is good. It could be a Scorpio. This person could have done a lot of work on themselves. What else? I will protect and defend our love. I like this person. Sagittarius energy, possibly. Aries, Leo. I'm getting fire sign. Bottom of the deck, what do we have? We have denial. What truth about yourself are you avoiding that could be interfering with your openness to love? So that's a question from the spirit for you. Okay. Are you denying this person? I don't know. Or maybe that's them. I don't know. Show me we prioritize quality time. So if this is not someone you're dealing with, this is what they will be like. Oh, yeah, they're very fair. Okay, yeah, they're very fair and very honest. Could be a Libra, could be an Aquarius, could also be a Gemini for some of you. So this is a very stand-up person. This person could be in law enforcement, IT, could be very intelligent, very well-spoken. Communication is going to be, that's the reason why, because this person likes to communicate. And they are open and honest in their communication. They're very fair, unbiased. They see both sides of a situation here. A very level-headed person, sound-minded. I like it. They could be an authority figure or they could just make decisions at work um, because they're so impartial. There's a level of trust here. There's a lo level of integrity here with this person. They respect you. They value you. What else? The High Priestess in reverse. Why? Cancer energy and then the lovers. Gemini energy. You might meet this person in the workplace. This might be a, like a secret workplace affair because the, two, the um, high priestess in reverse could talk about like something that's hidden, right? But I don't feel like this is negative with these cards. So I'm looking at this lover's card and I'm thinking the lovers can talk about needing to make a choice. It can talk about like being in the workplace, being attracted to someone, but thinking about job security, thinking about the risk of dealing with someone at your job. That's just for some of you. For others of you, let's see what this... High priestess is in reverse. For some of y'all, I don't know if you were like this person's side chick or side dude or something. I don't know. The Knight of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Ooh. Hmm. Why? Pisces and Scorpio. Five of Pentacles. This person got their pick. The Six of Pentacles. But they are fair. They're showing up as fair. And then the temperance. They're showing up as very balanced and fair. You know, Capricorn, maybe this is new. If it's not new, it feels like it's either new or this is somebody who's turning over a new leaf. I'm getting somebody here that's trying to, I just heard clean their act up. Remember, it says lessons. I said they already, already learned their lessons. They could have lost you and now they want you back. Maybe they were dealing with other people here because the high priestess in reverse can be like a secret relationship with the seven of cups. This is keeping your options open. It's temptation. And this is kind of like the, the knight of cups, although people just, you know, focus on the romantic side of the knight of cups. He also is a little bit of a player because he like he likes, you know, seeing something new. And he's like, mm, I'm curious about that. Let me go and talk to him or her and see what they all about right so look at how this knight of cups is looking at these options so your person could be very charming very attractive very flirtatious because he's a flirt and could be dating multiple people but you're going to end up being their choice so they could be cutting other, other people off for you right now yeah because you feel like the one that balances them out 
So in Sagittarius, a Taurus, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Show me lessons. Maybe this will tell us what the lessons are that they learned. The nine of wands. It could have been. Be it could have become too stressful for them to keep up, like all these options, all this juggling. Nine of cups. Okay, so now they're going. You, you have two nines here. Ninety nine. The year ninety nine or September the ninth could be significant. I feel like they're going towards their happiness. You're this person's heart choice. You make them very happy. It's so funny because laughter almost came out. Somebody could be a comedian. This is a card of entertainment and being a comedian and things of that nature. So for some of you, I feel like this person trying to maintain other relationships is either getting too burdensome or they're starting to see that you're just the pick of the litter. You're the one that makes more sense to be with out of these other options, even if it's just one other option, it feels like they're choosing you. This is a person that's relationship ready as a stand up person making sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Too many. Just two more cards, please. Some of them are realizing it doesn't take much. Yeah, this is doing things in moderation to me because this is the um, delayed gratification. So there's something about this person learning to do things in moderation. And I feel like it's cutting other options. They're holding on to you, Capricorn. That's your energy. And then we have the Five of Cups. So let's say they've been talking to other people. Let's say they hurt you in the process. Let's say you found out. The lesson that they learned is that they want to be with you. And they feel bad. This is like disappointment in yourself. Disappointment in a situation. And they're thinking about how they hurt you. There could have been, could have been somebody else here. Another relationship, a situation they were dealing with, with the two of cups being at the top. He's no longer paying attention. And I'm saying he because it's a man, but it could be a woman. He's not paying attention to these two cups right here. He's paying attention to the three here. And this talks about like wanting a reunion. This talks about wanting to reconcile. So if somebody else is making him or her a love offer, they don't want it. They want you. Show me one more about this lesson that this person has learned. The tower in reverse. They can't let you go. They're not willing to let you go. Scorpio Aries energy. I think something else flipped. It doesn't matter. So they said that they will protect and defend your love. Giving me Knight of Wands. This is somebody who wants to fight for you. Yeah, the strength card, the death card. Wow. Leo, Scorpio. They're willing to fight to the death. This person really does want to protect you. The strength card. There's something about them getting control over their impulses here. Four of Pentacles, the strength card. Three of Wands and the Hangman. They're definitely stuck on you. And they want to progress this relationship. They are thinking about the future with you. They want to explore more. They're open to exploring more with you. Could be in Aries or Pisces. Somebody could even be on the Pisces Aries cusp. We have the Two of Swords, we have the Seven of Swords, and we have the World. See, something was going on. There's communication coming from this person. Could be a Sagittarius. Uh oh. Could be over the next eight days that you hear from them. But this is somebody that was torn between two people. They're escaping another connection to come towards their wish fulfillment, which is you. This is Capricorn energy. Also, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Taurus, and Libra is here as well. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, that's some communication from coming from this person. Somebody could be asking some of y'all to get married here. With the Knight of Cups, the World, the Eight of Wands, this is somebody coming towards you with communication. Yeah, look at this. It's the marriage card. This person could be bored with other options. See, I'm telling you, I feel like something happened between you two. This is you. They can't imagine life without you. Cancer got that as well. And y'all know that's your sister sign, so you could be um, dealing with a cancer. They got that message as well. So let's see what they want to say. I think of you at night when the world is asleep and my mind is awake. So this person could be going through a lot of anxiety, a lot of remorse and regret if they if they lost you. I feel empty and hollow inside. I can't open up right now. Mm. They're trying to strategize how to come back, fix this or whatever this is. So there could be a truth about themselves that they are avoiding that could be interfering with the openness to love. Like I said, it could be them. Okay, let's see. What else do they want to say? What did I say? I feel so guilty about my action and what I said to you. I told you they're in guilt, remorse, regret. I never want to see you again. You hurt me. I feel like that's you. 
I struggle with revealing my true emotions and feelings, but I love you more than you think. I hope to have a future with you one day. Yeah, I believe they do. Um, this is not somebody who's letting you go. The tower is in reverse. The death card is them making changes, finding the strength to make changes, to fight for and defend your love, to protect it. But um, that's what I see, y'all. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.